board with Swanee. Swanee, one of the best assault rifle players in the world right now. Some of you guys may remember him from Call of Duty Championships. He played so, so well actually placing eight there. He most certainly did now. I believe he's actually using the SC2010 and it doesn't look like the gold's actually been captured already. Now, if you haven't seen Blitz before, yep, the new game new. type we're actually showing here at Gamescom. Now, it's kind of like capture the flag in the fact you have to go get something in the enemy's base. Yes. But this is the clever thing about it. If you get into that portal, that, that goal, you will actually teleport back to safety at your own spawn. Yep, and it's something very, very different. As you said, never seen it before. This is the global reveal of Blitz. And to be honest, I've played it a lot today. Definitely one of my favorite, favorite game types that I've seen so far on Call of Duty Ghost. And right now you can see, very, very fast tempo game. It's actually two to one so far. And something that we ought to mention is something that we touched on a little bit in LA. First blood, as soon as someone dies, they drop a briefcase. That's gonna give you a field order. Now, if you can complete your field order, you get a care package. That care package can give you any amount of streaks. He most certainly can. And there we go, oh, Swan almost gets a two piece, but doesn't. Now, the great thing about this, if you get to the goal, the teleporting, I mean, we've seen players go fast and furious towards this. Shane being a notable one, he has actually, if we go on to God's Kataga, is in fact another one as well. When they actually slide towards it with the new knee slide, yep. you can actually ask Paul Shane do it. He ran towards it, knee slid into the objective <laughs> while hip firing and killing someone. It, so it's a pretty cool combo that you can actually get going it, on. There certainly is. And that actually, it's a very fast game type. Like I said, it's actually quite hard to defend this one. Yeah, very, very difficult to defend. It's all about getting that map control Gataga. Little struggling there so far. Five and six. Actually top fragging for his team right now. Playing relatively well. But he needs to try and pick up not the guitar that we used to watch. I mean, I actually stood behind him watching it. And I, let me tell you something. If you're a French fan, he is a player to watch for because he looks so, so strong on this game. He certainly is. And we're actually going to go on board with Shane, as I spoke earlier. Five for four at the moment. And he has a catch up. Both teams actually racking up. Three, two at the moment in favor of Shane's team. Now both these teams, top European players. Yes. And they've been going at it all day. They have indeed. And I've just noticed someone has actually picked up the briefcase. And yes, Bryce, I'm so happy. It's Acid currently playing with the Prophecy Lab. It's 3-3 three, three at this point, but humiliate the opponent. It's going to be the field order, but no. He got the kill, but immediately got taken down. That's going to be a fail field, field order. But what I want to talk about is that, the, the humiliate. Some of you guys may not actually know what you have to do. It's my favorite. You thought I was joking when I told you I, as well. I most certainly did. Now, these field orders can be almost anything. Some of yeah. them are, you've got to use a melee weapon. Yep. Some of them, pick up a second piece. That sort of thing. Get a headshot. Get two kills while crouched. The humiliate, however... <laughs> He's actually quite good. Like I said, I didn't believe Benson when he first told me, but to humiliate your opponent, kill them, and then teabag their body. It's, it's amazing. And right now, Broken, he's actually picked up that field order. All he needs to do, kill an enemy while jumping. Sounds simple enough. I can tell you it isn't because things just like that happen. He's actually going to get taken down. That was actually Acid with a very, very important kill. But Broken straight off spawn, takes down 20. Nice play from him. He's actually pushing straight back to his, to his base. So this is something that we expect to see a lot. When you see these professional players play, all the time they're going to rotate back to their own base, make sure that's secure, and then push up the map and try and get control. Yeah, it's been a strategy they've been working on all day. Like I said, these players, they've just been introduced to Blitz, just yep. been introduced to this game type, and they've actually been trying to work out strategies from the <laughs> off. I mean, they were trying to do call-outs when they first come in in the day, and it was kind of a, a little bit mumbled as they tried to work out what was what I heard, broken middle and left rubble, <laughs> because they couldn't differentiate between the three things that early on. But what I want to talk about is he actually picked up a two-piece there, doing crazy well. I want to talk about the score streaks, or the kill streaks, now they are in this game. Yes, and we'll actually, we'll, we'll stay with Broken right now, because he's actually very close to getting his SATCOM. Now, oh, I just cursed him, and my, my bad Broken. But the SATCOM is essentially the UAV which we've seen in the past, but you put it on the floor. And there's something really, really cool about the SATCOM in the way it stacks. Most certainly is. Now, everybody knows the UAV. Yep. The thing that hovers ahead gives you a vision of the map. Now, SATCOM is a little bit different. It involves a whole new dimension of how it works. First of all, it goes on the floor. So you have to think about where you're putting it so the other team don't destroy it. But the first one down on the map will give you line of sight. Yep. So you'll have a little thing on your radar just when other players on your team see someone. Second one acts a little bit more as a traditional UAV, as you know, and it stacks and stacks and stacks up until you get the advanced UAV back from obviously Modern Warfare 3 days where it actually gives you directional vision. And again, I'm just having a quick look to see if anyone has the field orders, I believe. It's actually Shane. He actually has it. And all he needs to do is kill an enemy with a melee, but he's going to have to try and stay alive here. Only has one kill to his name. He's actually running the MTAR. MTAR, one of my favorite. He went for the knife, but he's going to get shut down. Not going to pick up the field order there. Unfortunate play, but Agony getting the better of him that time. So and this game is really tight at the moment. Seven and six so as both teams fight tooth and nail for this. Like I said, these teams have been playing so they all day and they <laughs> haven't actually played a friendly at any point. Both teams, you know, put they in their hard, hardest <laughs> goal into this. They're just trying to win every single one and they've been talking tactics. So oh, yeah. they have actually split up. There is 
French, German, and the UK yeah. teams all represented here. Yeah, we split them up two by two by two. Yeah. Both, so two players. Each we figured that was the fairest way to do it. Yeah, I mean, uh, we ha we have to make sure it's a close game, and that's exactly what it is right now. Seven to six is the scores on the board right now. Such a close game. It's actually going to be Gunchy's team that do have that one point lead. And you know what? We haven't seen much of Gunchy. He's a player I want to watch because this time last year. On stream, I remember Gunchy playing so, so well. I know exactly what you mean. He actually has the M car there. The and the even thing about the M car is, last time we really believe it was actually in the Soul Roll. Now yes. it's SMG, and it plays exactly like that. It is a powerful SMG. A lot of these players are preferring it here as well. We need to actually talk about the second skill territory you can talk about. What you and oh, oh, Riley. Uh, Ri Riley, the guard dog. Riley the dog. He is, he's awesome. I mean, and Shane right now, he's actually just placed Satcom down. He's actually going to get tagged up. Can he pick up the kill? That's the question. Yes, he can. One kill away now from picking up the guard dog, a.k.a. we all know and love him as Riley. And let me tell you, Riley is such a strong speed. Can he get it? Yes, he can. But unfortunately, he dropped the field order. He didn't manage to get it. You see it on the, on the screen there. Field order has been failed, but he has called him Riley. Now, there's something really, really cool, Bryce, about Riley. If, he's a dog. If, yeah. Well, well yeah, that does help, yeah. But when you're running around the map, if you happen to miss someone, uh -huh. Riley sees him, he's going to let you know. He's going to bark. So immediately, you know someone is in the vicinity. And, you know, if you're lucky, Riley's going to go maul him to death. If not, you can pick up the kill yourself. No, no, it's a really useful <laughs> kill streak, actually, because not only is it a little bit hard to take Riley down, but because he's guarding your back, it's an instant kill. Riley yes. is an instant kill. He's going <laughs> to get you and just kill you straight away. And you can nearly kill the dog. <laughs> and an interesting thing there as well is if you snipe Riley, he'll fall down. Yeah, it's actually a really I, said, I did this earlier, I was like, oh no, the dog's coming. <laughs> Shut him a sniper, he falls down and then gets back up. It takes more than one sniper bullet to kill him. Yes. It's, it's a cool animation as well when he drops. But, yeah. You know, er everything about Riley I was is, nervous. Awesome. I was backpedaling. He's <laughs> using the pistol. Like, get away from me, dog. <laughs> <laughs> one thing we haven't mentioned either is, is the Juggernaut Maniac. The most fun we haven't street. Seen it we in, we in, haven't. in the most recent games. The, the, the pros, they keep, they keep messing up the care packages, some things that obviously they're not used to Oh, that was using. hilarious this morning. A lot of the pros there was like used three to, on the map yeah. and no one picked them up. They're not it used was... to throwing care packages. They just kept throwing over maps, under ledges. It like, was, it I can't get to the score streak, and when I do, I throw off the map. Well, nice objective base play there coming from Shane. You should have actually capped the, the point, and that's exactly what happens. You teleport back to your own spawn, and as you can see, a timer is placed on the enemy's base because you, just, you don't want you know two, three players running well, that. You can't have six players go in and instantly get six more. But I mean, it's happened a few times. I saw earlier on that two players went for it at the same time. One went in, the yes, other was did. left in no man's land. So I've now got to wait 10 seconds before I can do anything. <laughs> well, Shane, playing quite well at this point. I'll be honest, 16 and 17. But all importantly, four caps. And when a game is 11 to 9 with two minutes 30, those caps are crucial. So Shane just showing us exactly why he's considered one of the best objective-based players in the world. But we'll have a look at someone we haven't seen much of. We'll go back to Gataga. He's currently 16 and 17 there. He's going to pick up another cap. So he's actually going to put his team just one point away, playing very, very well at this point, Bryce. Certainly is. Now, interesting enough, the tactical grenade he has is the nine bang. You have oh, yes. It's not a flashbang, it's a nine bang. And this works with the longer you hold it down, the more flashbangs will actually come out of it. Now, you can hold it down for the full, I believe it's four seconds, and it will actually give a mild EMP off as well. Yes, and it's it's something that we've seen a lot of people experimenting with. You know, how long are they going to hold it down? I mean, we saw Kataga there just throw it and run, and he actually it's managed to flash back. It's just a flashback. Exactly, and he, he's actually managed to pick up a kill there as well. So Kataga, he's one kill away from picking up Riley. He has a stat com as well. He could actually opt to put that down. That's exactly what he's going to do. Picks up 100 points there as well. Is he going to try and cut the point? Yes, he is. He just dives straight onto it. That's not only going to put his team one point away. He's also picked up Riley. Now the question with one minute 28, if Kataga starts playing aggressively, we could see a juggernaut maniac. Certainly so. Is he going to call it in? It would be great to have it. Gun is back at the moment as he does. Can he oh, pick it up? No. Gunchy. Gunchy shuts him down. He's not going to be happy about that either. And this is going to be really close to the wire at the moment. Both teams great defender. He had to make that one. Can he just take another kill? Well, he's tagged him up. He has the support. Oh, 20, but now he sneaks in. Oh, the the Dukes are real. And with one minute five left, Pricey, that cap could be the winning cap. You can see Gataga and his team two points away, 59 seconds left. This now is where they need to make sure after every spawn, they cycle back, make sure they're not giving away any points. And if they work together, they can easily come back into this. There you see the nine bang being thrown. Can he pick up the kill? Yes, he can. There's a the briefcase as well. Riley in support, kill an enemy while prone. But more importantly right now, he needs to jump on that point. Now, this is the thing about Blitz, right? Capture the flag, you get to that flag, you then got to get it all the way home, you yep. become a target. If you can get into this goal, you're home safe. That's why this exactly. is so high scoring at the moment. 14 to 13, because players know if they can get there and dodge a few shots, they're home safe. 28 seconds left, we're still on board with Gataga. He can actually cap the point, he's going to die. Actually, he doesn't no! manage to get it. He what didn't get it. Close. 
huge, huge kill comes in from Broken, and that is an unreal kill, because with 17 seconds left, they are not going to have the time to cap those two points, and Broken with one of the most clutch kills we've seen here today at Gamescom. 16 to 13 is going to be the final score. Sensational place, and you can see Gunnerly from Killerfish here with your final kill using the MTAR. A fantastic game 